Today I make up for a massive mistake that I made by opening Legendary Collection Kaiba. What's up guys, we're back with another video, and if you guys remember recently, we opened every Legendary Collection game board ever made. Or so I thought when I made the video. I somehow forgot a very crucial Legendary Collection, which you may have just seen in the intro, the Legendary Collection Kaiba. Somehow, I completely forgot this existed. I opened every other Legendary Collection. I said it was all the Legendary Collections. I didn't realize it until I think I had edited the video or something. I was like, oh wait, what about Kaiba? Actually, I think it was when I posted it and you guys started commenting. Then I realized, oh yeah. I, you know, I didn't remember to do Kaiba. So today we make up for that. We're opening Legendary Collection Kaiba, but this isn't it. This is a first edition, by the way. We're doing this, and we're doing a little versus battle because we have a Legendary Collection game board as well. We will be doing Kaiba versus Legendary Collection 1 game board. This should be pretty fun and hopefully a little redemption for the time when we open all of them except Kaiba. So the guy I got these from actually sent a giveaway, which is a bunch of stuff. So first of all, we have a deck box. Then we have a sealed Stardust from Shadow Specters, I believe, and a ton of newer Ultra Rares that a lot of these are actually worth a few dollars. So like, that's like $50. So yeah, we're talking a big giveaway today. We got Dino Morphia stuff. I mean, those are all worth a decent amount. He said these will be for give the giveaway, I think. So I decided to do a massive giveaway rather than split these all up. You guys can win probably around $100 in cards plus a deck box. So make sure to just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know. Do you forgive me for uh, forgetting about Legendary Collection Kaiba? Do we need to redo that video at some point? Do we need to open all of them and, you know, actually include Kaiba? Let me know in the comments. I feel like that would be a fun video either way, even if you don't want to see it. All right, the time has come. Let's start with Legendary Collection Game Board because Kaiba's got to, you know, it's got to be the second one. And I think Kaiba's probably the better in terms of value. So we're doing a little battle here. We're going to see which one can pull more value. With these Legendary Collection ones, it's pretty tough because you actually have to pull a really good card in like the hollow slot. Kaiba has like 10 hollows per pack. There's only three packs, but it has 10 of them. So it's a lot easier to actually get something good. So let's see if Legendary Collection Game Board can give us a nice start and potentially a decent lead going into the Kaiba. We have six packs here, I believe. No, five. What am I thinking? Of course, no, it is six. It is six. Yeah. Normally it's five in the other ones. It's six in this one. So we have a $10 value with the Obelisk the Tormentor. Very cool. And then we have our six packs that are normally from Legendary Collection 1. We will start off with Dark Crises, as always, because... Not a crazy amount of value in terms of the foils, but there is some pretty big value when it comes to the rares and the commons, potentially with the skill drain, with the final countdown, stuff like that. Uh, so let's see if, oh, Tsukiyomi, that's another nice rare. Shinado's Arc, let's go. We got the Archfiend's Oath. Shooting Star Bow Seal, I know you guys know, I had the Prismatic and Duel Links. Really, Eternal Rest. So Eternal Rest, but really. Arsenal Robber. Blindly Loyal Goblin, he's loyal. Blindly. Very nice. Sasuke Samurai Numero Dos. Very cool. Ooh, the Infernal Queen Archfiend. Not one of the rares we're looking for, but still a cool card. And finally, we have... Ooh, a Falling Down. All right, Falling Down kind of looks like a foil for a second. This is actually a pretty decent card. Uh, I think it's a Snatch Steal for Archfiend. Yeah, so you take control of one opponent's monster that is equipped with this card if you have an Archfiend on the field, which is pretty insane. All right, not great start there. Let's see if we can pull something better out of here. I think by the time you guys see this... Probably the weekend of Pasadena, so I will be recording. I'm planning on recording with a few different people. So next week, you're probably going to be seeing some content from Pasadena. Of course, our vlog we're going to have. Ah, the back trick. What are we doing? Delinquent Duo. That's actually a really good one. All right, Delinquent Duo, one of the Trinity from GOAT format. And what the Trinity is, is you hate it. You hate the Trinity. Oh, wait, is this one of the... Yeah, it is one of the Trinity because it's... Graceful Charity, of course, awful to play against. Pot of Greed, awful to play against. And then this, Delinquent Duo. I always forget if Confiscation is legal. It's not It's not legal in Go. But this card is the worst because you start off with your opening hand. They play this. You lose two cards immediately. You never get to play them. So kind of sucks. But it's an amazing card. Like really, really good. I just messed up the pack trick. So, you know, let's just appreciate these cards. I don't know what I did, but somehow I messed up the pack trick. We're going to have to be more careful next time because, yeah, Cyber Jar. Cool. Wait. I really messed that up. So now Cyber Jar, a nice rare. We'll take that. It's unbanned, so I wonder if Cyber Jar is a dollar now. It probably is. All right, huge mistake on the pack trick. Got to be careful with the pack trick when you do it, but uh, I do enjoy doing it. I know some of you guys are like, why do you do the pack trick? I like putting the best card in the back. I think it's really fun. So I think what I'm going to do to be safe this time is I'm just going to do three. 
Uh, I like putting it in the back because, one, we can see all the cards. Especially in these old ones, we have a lot of funny ones. You know, we, we get to see our class like Missouri Zame, Yame. You know, you want to em embrace those kind of things as you can. And then get to the ex the exciting card or potentially expensive card at the end. Driving Snow. We got the Bombardment Beetle. So that's why I do it. Earthshaker. I had somebody ask in my community post when I was asking about Rux and Live stuff. So Rux and Live, uh, my other channel, if you haven't, go check it out. I'm going to do more discussions over there because mostly I do openings over here. And then we have the, of course, Guess Your Price series. But besides that, it's mostly openings, PSA grading, stuff like that. But with discussions, I kind of want to put some on live. And I was asking for ideas from you guys. So you can go give, it, give me an idea there as well if you want. Drill Bug, Monster Recovery. Let's see if this will be a foil. No, so we still don't know where the foils are. They're either before or after. Usually it's after, but I don't know. A wicked spirit created by the hateful souls of those who fell in battle. It grew by assimilating the souls of its enemies. Assimilating the souls. That's pretty cool. Okay, Invasion of Chaos time. So far we have pulled... Well, I mean, Delinquent Duo is actually not bad. So paired with the promo pack, then Cyberjar potentially being worth something. Could be a decent showing for Legendary Collection 1, because you, you can go like over on this sometimes. Stumbling, very nice. Isn't that an Archfiend card as well? No, it's not. It's just it just changed them to defense. Interesting. Stealth Bird, very annoying burn card, but it's a card. Ryu Koki, one for the classic zombie decks. I want to make an Edison zombie deck as well. Fiend's Hand Mirror. DNA Transplant. We got a Chaos Greed. Torpedo Fish. Dark Dry Ceratops. Is it the same stats as Ryu Koki? Wait, what are Ryu Koki's defense? No, this is worse than Ryu Koki. And Ryu Koki is a common. That's very funny. And then... Blasting the Ruins. All right, so we are now, what, one for four? Actually, not that bad for old school packs. So we'll take it. I always like to do Metal Raiders last, but... Well, well, and LOB, but... Why do these feel like... I don't know. These feel different for some reason. Are these 2013 packs? I don't know. There's a 2013 and a 2017 Legendary Collection Game Board. 2013 obviously came out first. And then they've printed it again in 2017. And then 2010 had the whole Binder Edition thing. Kagamusha, let's go. We got a hard armor. Can we pull the blue eyes? Our mail. Very cool. Drooling Lazard. A blood-sucking snake in human form that attacks any living being that passes nearby. Drooling Lizard. They say a blood-sucking snake... But he's a lizard. He has arms. How is he a snake? <laughs> I feel like that's a translation error, like from lizard and snake. That doesn't make any sense. That's really weird. All right, King Fog. We have an Electro Whip. And we have, I don't know, this could be it because I don't know what the foil is. Frenzied Panda. Reaper of the Cars is the one we got uh, in every pack opening. And we have Petite Angel. All right, there we go for the Taya fans. And finally, in Legendary Collection 1, we have Metal Raiders. Final pack. Of Legendary Collection 1 before we hop over and do, of course, Legendary Collection Kaiba, which is going to be insane. We have Ring of Magnetism, Ground Attacker Bug Roth, very nice. A surface, bat surface? A surface battle robot that was once used for sea warfare. Surface battle robot that is once used for sea warfare. Interesting. So like Surface of the Ocean, Jurai Gumo, nice card. Guilty of the D-Knight. Can we get something big out of here? Pecanio Moth, Steel Scorpion. Like Also, like Patrick, got to find the Pecanio Moth. Tainted Wisdom, and... Oh, and that's why you do it! The Bacanio Moth, a small but deadly creature. This small but deadly creature, not a small but deadly creature. This small but deadly creature is better off avoided. Very nice. I need I need to memorize this text. Very good. Blade Fly, and is there a foil back here? Ryukishin Powered. All right, so no, there is not. Delinquent Duo, the only foil we messed it up the pack trick. Awesome. All right, Legendary Collection... What is this? What number is this? Four or five? No, Joey's four. I don't. Is this have a number or does this? I don't think this has a number. I think they quit using numbers. That's why I forgot. I was thinking Joey was the last one because it's number four. This one's just Legendary Collection Kaiba Collection, so it's a little different. But uh, this has three packs inside. This is a very solid Legendary Collection. A lot of nice reprints. I think this promo pack's probably not worth as much as the other one. Let's just put five bucks for that one. Then we have our three packs, of course. All right, let's do this. Three packs. Mega Pack, Legendary Collection Kaiba. I think there's four secrets out of the 10 cards. And then like two, I think, are at the front, two at the back. So we're going to do this. Yeah, perfect. Okay, Parrot Dragon. Very nice. We got the Parrot. We got a Kaiba Man. Very nice. Virus Cannon. The Just Desserts. The another burn card. This go with our Stealth Bird. Okay. Heavy Mech Support Armor. Ring of Destruction. Destruction Dragon. Lots of destruction in here. Okay, what does this guy do again? Must be just with someone with a fang of Critias. Oh, interesting. Is this in season four? Like when they're like tagged or what is it called? Not tag dueling, duo dueling. I don't know, him and Yugi together are dueling against uh, whatever that dude's name is. Cost down, very cool. That's definitely a Kaiba card. 
Fiend Sanctuary. This is in Legendary Collection. Kaiba is a super rare. Nice secret rare version. Then we have... There's a uh, Ash Blossom here, so it could be cool. Silver's Cry. Okay, this is pretty nice. Woo, look at that. Silver's Cry is beautiful. Bring back the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Probably worth a couple bucks on that one. Adding to our tally. So, I feel like Legendary Collection 1 still ahead after one pack. Two packs to go. Pack numero dos for Kaiba. First edition pack. There's some pretty good stuff. Can we get the Ash Blossom? That'd be pretty cool. We have, Wait, oh wait, I did that wrong. I put all the secrets to the front. We're going to go like this. There we go. Parrot Dragon again. What in the world? Okay. Kaiba Man again. Is this the same pack? That would be weird. Oh, this is the same pack. Ring of Destruction. It's literally the same cards. Tyrant Burst Dragon. Do we have that last time? That might be different. This might be the first secret. Is the next one. Okay. Protector with the Eyes of Blue. Very nice. Ooh, White Stone of Ancients. There's a good one. This is a really nice secret rare print of this card. That's probably four or five bucks for some reason all the blue eyes stuff that's like if it was any other archetype would be like a dollar or like 50 cents is like five dollars so the white stone of ancients is one of those dragon shrine also another decent card you get to dump a what is a normal monster or one dragon monster very nice so that works out for the blue eyes ancient rules another great card for blue i mean they're just all perfect for the blue eyes deck you normal summon or special summon your blue eyes from your hand and white stone of legend those are all great blue eyes cards so the white stone of legend all of those that was probably like a 20 dollars pack from those so honestly could have taken the lead right there i don't know how much delinquent duo goes for you almost have a playable blue eyes core at this point you know if you could like multiply those like out like get like a couple white stone of legends or whatever instead of having just one you basically have everything you need all right soul exchange very nice doom virus dragon Vorse raider in attack mode fusion sage very cool you can search out polymerization pretty nice the Just Desserts. We will be burning after this opening. Lots of burn cards. Very nice. We got Heavy Mech Support Armor. Another cool card for the uh, XCs and like Union stuff. We have... Ooh, Dragon Spirit of White. Such a beautiful print out of here. The Secret Rare looks so good compared to the original, which is like, I think an Ultra maybe. The Secret Rare just looks way better. And like, it hits really nice in the, in the light on these. So the Legendary Collections always just have really, really nice printing. Very good card. Return of the Dragon Lords, another one. Last time I pulled this, I thought it was like 10. It used to be 10. Now I think it's around five, but still pretty nice. We were pulling a lot of like five. There's a ton of like $5 cards in this set, which is really cool. We have two more cards. Azure High Silver. We're literally pulling all the good Blue Eyes cards. This is insane. This is a nice extra deck card. Really good in Duel Links for a while in the Blue Eyes deck. And then the final card of the opening, I think we've probably won at this point for Kaiba. And majesty with eyes of blue just a beautiful looking artwork of a blue eyes roaring i guess i guess he's roaring rawr, you know okay i didn't need to do that but okay all right that was a pretty sick opening i always love opening legendary collections especially kaiba because kaiba just has some absolutely fire cards and they all look really good and you get like four secrets a pack which is really cool if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this shout out to toe and foe show daxter tomato juice jt cho tcg trusted cards puffins of doom ernesto deanda dizzy flexi boy hoppus choice 333 Micycle, melancholy and then high show christopher ward ian musa john nolan junior barding mike nance mimic gecko stanley and thomas mclean thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.